Hi guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Whistle and Birch Erin um, Condren Life Planner um, Comparable Planner. So this is um, an Australian made product, um, which I like to support local business when I can. So I thought I'd give this one a try before I ordered this from uh, like an Erin Condren from the States. Now this is um, considerably cheaper. It's $55 Australian. Um, so a lot less than what an Erin Condren would cost you. Um, and with the Erin Condren also all the shipping on top, uh, you avoid that if you're living in Australia anyhow. So. So this is mine. Um, you can order any any cover you like. Um, they have their own designs, but you can also um, send them photos and they will make the cover for you with your photos. They'll start it any month you like. And as you can see, mine's um, customized with my uh, business name on it. So it comes with this like plastic semi-clear color I would uh, cover I would say it's slightly frosted um, the coil is silver I don't believe they have an option for um, any other colors but I do like the silver anyway I did go with one of their designs for the cover I love this sort of Tiffany blue color it's one of my favorite colors and um, I love this design so um, next time I probably order my own photo but I like this quite well um, it is just a sort of heavy gauge cardboard like a cardstock um, I wouldn't say it would be um, like if you cut notches in it you wouldn't be able to have it removable like the Erin Condren style planners uh, but you could quite easily order those covers and use it I can't see any reason why you couldn't use those covers in this planner okay so we'll just go through it quickly so you have your um, year at a glance. I have mine start in July because I like to go from financial year to financial year. Um, so important dates page. At the start of every month, you have uh, a nice quote. Um, I do really love some of these quotes. Some really nice ones in here. Like, um, do the best you can until you know, know better. Then when you know better, do better. Love that one. Do not wait until the conditions are perfect to begin. Beginning makes the conditions perfect. So every month has one of those, bit of a motivational thing, I suppose. You get a little monthly dashboard uh, page, like goals, public holidays, things like that. And then your monthly view. Now this, these plans are all neutral. There are no colors in them, uh, which I like. I like that. The only colors are on these uh, side tabs and on the sort of front uh, laminated part of every month. So um, the setup is slightly different. Um, I believe the header is a little shorter. So when I do my first um, monthly plan with me, um, I'll show you how I'm going to get around that. Uh, but otherwise it's pretty standard. Um, you got your days of the week up the top and your boxes and your sidebar. Then you have your weekly view, which is very similar to the Erin Condren stand, uh, setup, except it does not have the um, header sections laid out, which I actually quite like. Um, I don't like being sort of held into having your headers in that section. Um, and then it doesn't have the lines at the bottom either, but you just put your side washi, uh, bottom washi over like normal and bring your boxes down. There's no it makes no difference to the way you would use your stickers. And then the setup up here is slightly different also. The sidebar is a little different. You don't have a thankful thought box. You just have like a sidebar and then a weekly goal, which is also fine. I mean, you can just put your stickers all the way up to the top. And you have these little um, dots at the top, which I guess some people wouldn't like. But again, just very easy to run a strip of washi across the top if you don't like those dots. But I don't mind them at all. I like the neutral. I think it will go with any sort of 
scheme that I like and I because I live in the southern hemisphere I don't want to be locked into uh, seasonal colors because our seasons are around the other way so um, our seasons are completely different to the like Erin Conrad colors and also for things like like 4th of July is not an Australian holiday so I don't want to be locked into having a whole month of a red and blue for you know no reason okay I'm just gonna zoom in a little so you can see the printing quality so hopefully that's clear enough it's pretty good I can't see any problems with it I suppose it could be a little grainy but really I've been hearing awful things about the ECs being grainy so I know these dashboards are kind of good it kind of looks like it's supposed to be like that so I don't know but from here sitting back it looks fine especially as nearly everything is going to get covered up by stickers let's face it okay so that's pretty much it I mean for the weeks and months it's all pretty much the same so it goes right through 12 months and then you get like a little bonus month uh, monthly view for July of next year and then you have now these dividers are quite nice they're all um, sort of heavy sort of laminated not laminated but that glossy heavy card stock really nice and then these tabs are laminated and then you have notes at the back just blank lined note paper and then a little just a little pocket and like a um, laminated pocket for stickers and whatnot so I quite like that I think I will use it not sure you get a couple of those and then just they have their own business cards in the back and then your back cover is the same color as your front with the plastic protector so I really like this planner so far I haven't put any stickers in it yet so it'll be interesting to see how I plan uh, my weeks and months out with a slightly different um, layout but I'm looking forward to giving it a go um, so stay tuned if you want to see that um, I'm definitely going to be posting some uh, a monthly plan with me and then some weekly plan with me is very soon so keep an eye out for that subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you later bye